let's discuss a few of the multiplayer variants in Tavern Brawlers. Well, most of your multiplayer games are going to be played either basic teams or free-for-all in a battle royale setting. The free-for-all side of the multiplayer card is this side and you'll know because it has the 30 plus as the only ultimate ability on your character's card. Every other statistic on these cards, no matter what the class, are going to be standardized. So they all have the same amount of health and they all get the same benefits for levels in attack and levels in defense. This makes character choosing a lot easier since the only difference is going to be the 30 plus ultimate and in most multiplayer games the 30 plus is extremely rare to get. The first variant will allow you to loot the body of a fallen foe. At the beginning of the game each player will roll their seventh die. The number each player rolls represents their loot. So in this game whenever a player defeats another player and removes them from the game they get that player's die. This die that has been looted can then be rolled at any time until it's all used up. This player has four uses. This player has three, one, and four. So when I roll my six dice for this character I can take and roll my seventh die, this die, with it and then that would reduce the number of remaining rolls to three. But it gives you a little bit of a bonus during your upcoming combats. The next multiplayer variant that will use the seventh die is going to be for a legacy style game. For those of you that play regularly, this might be a fun way to tally your score across several games. So each player will roll their seventh die before the game begins. This adds a value to that player. So now the blue player is worth two. The green player is worth four. The orange is worth one. And the red player is worth three points. From this game, the last player standing will be worth ten points that you would then add to your legacy scorecard. And of course, that's going to be a player name, not a character name. So if Dan, Joe, and Michael are playing, and Michael wins, you would add 10 to his running total. And that would track across multiple games. The seventh die was added to create a ton of fun and interesting play choices. I've given a couple of examples here, but... I want you to think of your own and go ahead and you can post your comments and your suggestions to the Tavern Brawlers Board Game Geek page that I will link to in this video.